Hey guys, it's Kaylor. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today is day six of our daily UI challenge. Today's task is to create a user profile. Um, today's profile was a really clean design. I use a lot of the linear icons that I use, and I also went with a Proxima Nova font. Um, never really use the drop shadows in my designs that often. I don't like the look of them, but today I decided to try to implement those, and so I ended up using those on uh, things like the um, user profile icons that you'll see more of in a second. Um, I really wanted to focus on the team aspect of this kind of uh, creative sharing application. So it's kind of similar to like Dribble's aspect where you can have uh, your individual profiles and you can just be a single member or you can join a team and there's also a team profile separate from your individual. So that was kind of the idea here. And then when I was making the main content like the following, the followers and the projects, I thought about adding a team projects uh, tab, but I thought that would be a little too cluttered. And if you make a project with your team, it would just go into your projects number. So that's kind of how that would work. Uh, as well as adding the team tag under your name, there's going to be a team section below this main section. And I tried to go with like a, like a uniform uh, 20 by 20 spacing, so 20 on the left and the right, and then 20 on the top and the bottom. But I found that 10 spacing kind of just change it up a little bit and it looks pretty good and so right now I'm just making the adjustments to the three sections that I created and now I'm gonna start creating the uh, team section so the team section you can edit the team it also displays the name and it displays all the members if it can if the members are I think above six would probably fit uh, it's gonna just show a few of them and uh, the edit button will take you to a separate page so you can edit the team if you want to leave or if you're the owner of the team you can remove people if necessary. Uh, below the team section I was gonna do just like an Instagram kind of thing where you just have your posts where you're like projects and what you're working on is displayed but then on paper I sketched out uh, a team post section kind of like what Twitter looks like where you have like a post and you have some characters and um, a timestamp and I thought that would look a little bit better uh, you can also have some images obviously in the post of the project so I went with like a more of a social sharing application so you can share what you're working on with other teams and with your own team you can choose either one public or private with your team and uh, I thought it would just be a good idea to just focus on the team aspect of this and uh, try to push that as much as possible so that's what I came up with I hope you guys enjoy today's design all right, so that's going to do it for this commentary. I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video. Before I go, I want to ask, what is your favorite portfolio social media application? Is it Behance, Dribble, etc.? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, as always, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. My father told me when I was young, don't play with fire, be careful, son.
Hey guys, it's Kaler. Thanks for watching the video. Click here to subscribe to my channel for new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you want to see this channel grow even more, don't forget to share this video. You can click the share button down below. Over here is YouTube's recommendation just for you, so go check out that video and let me know what you think in the comments. Up here is my newest video, and if you haven't seen it already, go give it a thumbs up. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.